everybody! Welcome to my carnival inspired plan with me. It is the weekend of Notting Hill Carnival so I decided to do that as my theme. Here are my August, previous August spreads and now I'm starting on this week which is the 24th to the 30th of August. I made these ombre checklist boxes. I decided to do a different form of layout this week and here you can just see me placing my daily vitamin stickers or flags even where they're going to go in the bottom of the today section of my days and then I'm just adding in little quotes and pictures in the section that isn't the today section so there's one square that is in the today section and then the other bit there are two boxes of the day are the today section so I'm just adding in the little um, headers for the, each day I suppose and then I'm also gluing in my vitamin flags as I was telling you before and they go at the bottom of the today section and then I put in my TV shows and then I fill it up with full boxes and then half boxes and stuff but you'll see in a second anyway. So the glue mouse I'm using, I actually ran out of glue of the mouse glue halfway through filming this video and then I couldn't find my refills and I think I may have thrown them away accidentally which sucks completely but hey ho it's life and it's my own fault for not checking things before I throw them away but I ended up having to go back to my liquid glue so my planner isn't very flat at the moment which isn't a fun thing. Anyway here you see me adding four boxes in on the weekend days. I actually forgot to leave space for the headers for the weekend days but it doesn't really need them and I've just put this little weekend banner which I got from a free printable online which is so cute and it matched perfectly with the flowers and the blue and the yellow and the green and then I printed out all these four boxes which are like glittery chevrons and glittery backgrounds because I thought they worked really well with the carnival theme and then these are some of my half boxes that I was just playing around with to see how they would look and then again I'm just using some more full boxes to fill in today's section. And then there's a gap there to fit my label because the yellow that they use is more of an orangey yellow and I really wanted the bright neon -y yellow that matched with the carnival theme. So some of them don't match up with the backgrounds because the backgrounds are kind of muted but it seemed to work fine and I wanted them to be quite muted because I didn't want them to stand out too much so that you could actually read the writing that you're putting onto your planner. Because that's what it's for, it's supposed to be functional isn't it? But some of the glitter is really bright and it's fun and the half boxes, most of them I made myself but some of them I got at a free printable from Scribble Prints Co. The little quote in the corner, the one that says, August is like the Sunday of summer. And that's also from the Scribble Prints printable. I think you can find it on her blog. I got it when she had her group open on Facebook, but that's since been closed. And that's the liquid glue you can see me using with Yoohoo. So I also printed these headers up in different colours and I just had my scissors and I trimmed them to the size that I wanted because I made them slightly bigger so that I would have a bit of a bleed in the colour if I needed extra or whatever. Um, and I didn't put any writing on them because I thought it would be easy for me to write on them with pen. So that's what I did. And here you can see me using the half boxes to cover up the gap between the two different backgrounds so it makes it more seamless and then also 
if there's a gap between the two backgrounds then it sort of covers that and there's no weird join like you can see on this Thursday there's a big gap there but once you stick the half box on it's done and then I just needed one for Friday as well and it's nice to have the little half box on each day because it sort of highlights something that's going on that day which is really cool the Scribble Prints half boxes but they looked a little bit smaller but it's okay because you could just use a sticker to cover up the edge and no one noticed like it looks Perfect. It looks like it would have been big enough if the sticker wasn't there, even though it wasn't. And then I'm just doing a bit more functional planning now with the stickers, adding in little bits that I need to add, such as things that I'm doing, hence the planning aspect of it. So those are my edit, upload, record stickers. But I haven't decided on the day that I'm going to record yet, which is a little bit silly. And then I've got those little glitter flags. They're also from Scribble, the Scribble Pinsco printable. That printable was really cool. She's got like a few colours um, of printables, a few sheets, I think. So all the stickers that I've used so far are actually from Etsy shops. So I'll leave a list of all the Etsy shops that I use in the bottom bar below and I do do that every week and to be honest it hasn't changed in a while because I haven't ordered new stickers which is a good thing. Um, so yeah there we go and then I realised at this point when I was planning that I forgot about my washi tape like the bottom bar looks so ugly and bare so I decided to use some green glitter washi tape because I thought I don't know why, but green always seems to me kind of carnival. I think it's because of like the costumes that they wear, like the feathery green. I always picture it to be green, and I don't know why, but there we go. So I put green glitter washi on the bottom, and then on the side as well, like I always do there. And then I have this gorgeous carnival kind of wash tape because it's just multicolored and pretty and it's triangular tessellation and it's just really pretty and it's from Laura by Laura the same as the flamingo one last week and the watermelon the week before or the watermelon week and I'm actually just using a magnet a bookmark magnet as you can see to, to cut the washi tape because I forgot where my ruler was and then these stickers aren't actually stickers, they're just printed things that I've printed on my computer and then I'm just using glue to stick them in. I cut them out before I started this plan with me and then I'm just finding spaces to add little cute embellishments because I think they're so adorable and I like to do this before I write anything so that there's space for them so that I'm not going to cover up my writing and then have to like write over things because that's stupid. And it doesn't matter if you go over the edge as long as you remember to trim it off, which I showed you that I do trim it off in a minute, you'll see that. But I love these little feathers, they're so cute and I think they really work with the spread because it just brings the carnival aspect. Here you go. So I'm just trimming off the excess with my scissors. Now you don't have to have any fancy scissors, I don't know where these ones were from but they were from around my house, just use them and it's fine. Now I'm just using my white gel pen to write in headers and then I'm using a black Stabilo pen to write in the other things. And then I drew a little TV there for my TV show, Grande Tuesday. And then I haven't filled out every single thing in the week because some of the days there's actually nothing that I have currently planned. So I'm going to have to wait and see what, go what goes on during that day before I fill it in. So sometimes I will fill it in throughout the week before the day, but sometimes I'll wait till I've done that thing in the day and then I write it. But what's good with this is there is a lot of space to write. So if you are a to-do list person, you can just do loads of to-do lists. And then I'm just using my friction pen to write spending and then Monday ready for my week to begin. And there we have it. 
I hope you like this new style of layout. I'm quite keen on to see how it goes throughout this week. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you again with another one next week. Bye!